Hey, what's going on, people? Patrick here, and we're actually going to talk to you about the Beretta APX Centurion. All right, um, this actually right here happens to be the Centurion that I purchased, but it has the APX compact frame on it. All right, so if you don't know, you can actually change these grip modules out just like the larger APX and just like the SIG P320. Okay, um, <clears throat> now the big difference between this and the SIG P320, one is I think you get a couple more different color choices, which is fantastic. Two, you could change out the back straps on it also, where the SIG P320 doesn't do that. All right, so I'm going to actually take the slide off of this one, and we're going to switch this one out, uh, and we're going to put the Centaurian back on, because this is the compact. The compact cuts 13 rounds, a little bit shorter, and I'll show you the difference here. So it's just a wee bit of a difference right here. Not much. Well, the Centaurians are just a little bit longer, but you get two more rounds on the Centaurian. All right, so we're going to change these out. So the first thing you want to do, make sure your gun is clear, which it is. There's no mag in it. Okay. Now, for the APX, what I found to be easier is you want to pull the trigger, right, and then you want to push in right here and when you push in you're going to turn this lever down and then the slide's going to come off all right so let's push in with your thumb so you get a little bit more strength on it and then turn the lever down and you see the slide released and it comes right off all right so now that we got that apart as you can see there is the grip module with the trigger mechanism so you want to take out the lever here so you just pull it out, much like the SIG P320. That comes out. Now, this is where this gets a little bit difficult. Okay. So, in order to change these out, there's actually a spring. And let me get a punch so I can show this to you. There is a spring right here that you kind of got to lift up and then push this roll pin out. All right, um, and it's actually got to go from this side because when they install it, you got to go from the other way to install it. So it's a wee bit of a pain in the ass to do it. Um, that's the only complaint I have with it is changing it out. And we're going to get into that now. Now, the camera angles are going to really probably suck because I got to actually lay it down and knock out the roll pin. So you're probably not going to have a good angle on it. Um, and I'm not used to doing it, so it takes me a little bit longer to do it because I don't do it that often with this. And I just got the new grip module in for it. Okay, so hold on one second. Let me get set up here. And again, like I said, we want to let me get the skinnier punch. And we are push this in. So I'm lifting up the spring, and I'm going to try to lay that here. You kind of need three hands to do this. That's the only thing that sucks about this. Let's see how talented I am. Plus, that didn't work. And lift up that pin, that spring. I got the spring to lift up a little bit, and then I was able to push past the little uh, spring gouge that was in there. And you can see now I can push it out. All right, there it is. Right there. <clears throat> okay. So you want to take that out. Now, the spring's probably going to snap down like it just did. Be careful, don't lose your roll pin. Okay. So, now... Let's try to, you got to, there's another little roll pin right here. And when you lift that out, you kind of have to push that in. Let me use the thicker punch. Just to get past that point. As you can see, I just pushed up the back just a little bit so that roll pin is pushed in. And that'll help me get this out. There we go. And it's out. So not tremendously hard, but still a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm actually getting a little bit better at it. Um, the first time you're going to find it's a pain in the ass. 
Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now, <clears throat> let's show you what came in the mail today. Aha! Uh -huh. And this is the Beretta APX Centurion FDE frame. Alright, so when you get these, they send you three extra grips. So you got two here and one on the gun. And it comes in the large, which has got an extended beaver tail on it. This is the small size. And the medium obviously is on the gun. Alright, and then they stick this in here. I guess it's just to keep the frame straight. So you want to pull that out. Okay. Alright, now. I personally think that I want to take the original one that I have here, pop this one off, and put the back strap on here. So we kind of got like a little FDE and black thing going on, so it matches the other black parts that are on the, the grip module. So in order to change the back straps, <clears throat> it's a little bit easier when the slide and the trigger mechanism isn't in. So I'll show it to you. Inside here, I don't know if I can get in close enough, is a little lever as the camera focuses and you gotta kind of push that down and over so i'm gonna do that right now all right and when i did that you can see right here this pushed out so now you can grab that and pull it out and once that's out now you take off the back strap okay so this size is the medium now, I'm going to do the same on this. So, right in there. Should be that lever I got to push down. And over to the left. Now, this one's brand new, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. There we go. And you can see it came out. Pull that out. Let's take that out. Let's put the black one on the right direction too. There we go. I like the way that looks. All right. Now I'm going to take this, put it back in, and make sure you're putting it the right way. And just push it all the way in until you hear it snap. Now it won't come off. Okay. That's the easy part. Now we got to put this back together. Okay, so you want to be careful that this here, see how this kind of swings back and forth? Make sure it doesn't swing on the inside. You want to make sure it swings on the outside. All right. Um, let's just see how we can do this. Again, I do not do this that often. I need to practice 20 times before the video like some people do. All right. Um, the other thing is that little spring that we were pushing around before. You just got to be careful with it. Make sure it's coming up words. Right, and probably the better thing to do would be to pull this up. Like so. So it's not it's probably the wrong way. There we go. All right, folks, as I'm doing this, this little spring came off. All right? <laughs> and of course it did. Um, so I'm pretty sure it actually goes onto this uh, swing arm here that I was telling you to be careful with that it doesn't go on the inside if we refocused. There's a refocus. So I'm pretty sure this connects into here, but I just want to double check. So just give me a moment, and I'll be right back. I want to go on this site and see if it's correct what I'm doing. Give me one second. Okay, so apparently this does go back in here. And this is actually pretty good to show everybody because I'm sure this is gonna happen eventually to somebody. This little hook has got to fit into this and stay in there. It's just a bitch to make happen. And this is again why I said you need three hands in order to make this work, as you can see. Okay, I got the spring back in. Holy crap. Definitely don't want that shit to happen again. All 
right? So, yeah, what a nightmare. <clears throat> you know, I mean, that's one of those things, like, if uh, Beretta just happened to be in my town, I'd probably walk in there and slap the damn designer in the face <laughs> for putting that spring the way that's on there. It's not bolted in or anything. It's just, like, pressed into that little groove right there. And what a freaking nightmare. To push it back in, it just kept popping right back out. All right, so now, anyway, let's get back to this. So we want to put the chassis in. So we want to put the front end first. At least that's what I hope I want to do. All right. So far, so good. And then you get to the point where you got the little pin over here let me get my punch so you gotta push that pin in when you push it in in order for it to sit right but sometimes you gotta squeeze a little bit and this is again a brand new frame so nothing broken in on it all right i'm gonna push that pin in there we go and we heard it snap which is good Okay, so that's in. All right, I hope you've seen that. All right now, it comes to putting the roll pin in. Now remember, that has a little... Focus in camera. A little groove right in here. So that side's got to go in first. Lift up that spring. So I can start pushing this thing in. And again, this is hard to do on camera. smaller punch here All right. yeah. sometimes a little bump tap helps out Put that up and again I'm just moving the spring out of the way so I can keep pushing this pin in Starting down. There we go. Okay. Let's just get that spring attached again. And you just heard a click. At least I hope you did. All right. So so far, we're in. It's looking good. Let's put this back in. All right. So you're just gonna twist it in. All right. It's easier to get a level like that and push it down. You're going to have to push it back a little. And there we go. Now, we're going to get the slide on. Now, when you pull it back, you're going to see that lever went up on its own. Okay? All right. And the trigger works. So that means I got that screw in back. Okay. Fantastic. So there you go. There's with the black pump swell on it. All right, and the FTE frame. And I know they actually make uh, the larger version that comes with the black on it. But I figure now I got actually an all black frame that I can switch out the black frame and put on the FTE on it if I wanted to. Just to give it a little color. And the same with this now with the black slide and with the FTE, I think it looks really good. So, 
Here's your first lesson on changing out the grip frame module on the Centurion or the Compact APX and running into a little headache of a spring. Alright, so if any questions or comments, please leave below. Sorry about how long this video was, but you've seen, you know, that little spring kind of gave me a little bit of a headache. Um, thank you much. Please subscribe. Have a great day.